Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get an Infinity G25 key replacement in case you lost all your keys or just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over the estimated cost, type of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Of course, if you need any help, you can contact us 24-7 uh, and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Infinity G25 has one type of key, which is a key fob or push to start. You get into the vehicle, you push the start button and the car is on. For 2011 and 2012, we have a key fob with a part number 285E3JK62A like an apple, which needs to be coded on site with a spatial machine. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip. Wrong chip and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year make and model of your car or the VIN number and the type of key you had. For example, 2012 Infinity G25 push to start or key fob. Now let's go over uh, Infinity G25 key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies, depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. Online, you can buy it for about $50 and including cutting and coding, you should pay total about 280. A locksmith should charge you about 300 for on-site service at your location and the dealer about 380. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare set. Making an additional key when you already have a working key is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lose all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day, and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it, don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. For more great tips, you can read our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it. I hope you liked this video. I would really appreciate if you can comment below to help other people and uh, tell us how much you paid. And of course, if you need help, just give us a call. Thank you very much.